All right, everyone, let's get going with our first ever virtual spider signing party. In a lot of ways, we hope it's our only virtual signing party. And by next year, we are back to doing this in person and back to doing this at the Robbins Center. Couldn't be more excited about the group we have coming back. Um, and I guess probably leading off with, uh, with the group that we have coming in that a lot of you guys have not seen. Uh, really, really excited about this recruiting class. We felt we had to get longer. We felt like we had to get uh, to be a much uh, better shooting team. I've been giving Addy a hard time. The last two times I've seen her play, she went against a, uh, a top 10 kid in the country uh, going to Oregon and another top 25 kid going to Yukon. So I said, if you can guard these two kids, you're going to be able to guard some kids in the A-10. Um, and I'm going to have to remind you of that if, if there's times coming up that, that she doesn't do this. So, really excited about her. Great kid, great family. I think really is going to fit in well in our program. Um, but she also can step out and shoot the basketball. You know, I think that's something that we talked about in our system. You know, we're probably not drawing up things for her to shoot it behind the arc, but for being 6'4", the length she has to be able to score inside while not giving up uh, as much. You're going to have to guard her on the perimeter as long and as athletic as she is. You know, I, I'm really excited to see what we coaches maybe don't talk a lot about the defensive end during recruiting, uh, but I think she's going to help and change our defense a little bit at that size to be able to knock down the shot uh, from the perimeter. And, and I think maybe what we haven't done as much here that we really have a, have a goal of doing and we're able to do at some previous stops is post up our guards. Yeah, and I think Kylie and you'll see Siobhan coming up that should be able to do this. And um, she had a game this year that went for 46, had uh, a couple that was right at 40 and even another one over 40 points in a game, you know, and she plays the right way. You know, she had a triple double, almost had a couple quadruple doubles this season. She's a very, very complete player. Um, you know, again, to be six foot, to have the guard spot, to be able to put the ball on the floor, finish both ways. You know, we've seen her shoot the ball really well, and uh, but just really felt that she was somebody that could kind of give us a spark, you know, both defensively, just a, a special defender. I mean, again, 5'5", five, five, but, you know, it, it's really going to make the point guard work. Um, she was over a 1,000-point scorer at James River High School. Going into this recruiting cycle we really wanted to make sure we got we had one scholarship and we wanted to make sure that we took care of one position either point guard or center uh, and we've had some really good players at those positions and then uh, when Jake Wojcik transferred we met many times over zoom and uh, in group chat trying to figure out what how we should use that last scholarship um, you know and one thing we thought we didn't want to not use it because we have a lot of players to replace the following season uh, and we decided to go for the best player available um, and we really feel like we, we were able to get that. Uh, he's a great athlete. His father coincidentally uh, was a uh, defensive back for the 1988 uh, Notre Dame national championship team under Lou Holtz. So he comes from, uh, he has great, great athletic genes and uh, his family was great. He had many options and he was really impressed with Richmond, was able to come down and spend time here, came to multiple games and we're excited for Quentin to have a, a really good career here. We're, we're very excited to have him. Jai had a tremendous senior year, was the player of the year in his conference, was all state. They won the state championship his junior year. Uh, he had uh, really eye-popping numbers, I think 17 points, nine rebounds, eight assists on average. Uh, he has a great way about him, how he plays. He's very, very good pace. You know, he's never in a rush. He can do a lot of things. He's very versatile. He's a good shooter. Uh, and then he visited us during our home game with George Washington. Uh, in that game, Grant Golden was kind enough to uh, help us recruit by having you know, a sensational game, some great passes. Grant made a three. I think he had 20 points and not all that many minutes. And Andre, uh, you know, has he does some things naturally that we that are really tough to coach, being, you know, having quick feet, uh, the strength that he possesses, his sense for the game. Uh, he really has a chance to be very, very good. And we had a, a fairly long list of point guards um, and Isaiah was always right at the top of the list. So you see right here, this is the Peach Jam Tournament, uh, which is the premier event in, in high school basketball. So the, uh, you, can, you can see him maneuvering here. He's really uh, an excellent 
all around player, extremely fast, uh, shoots the ball well. Uh, Isaiah is, is, is going to be a fan favorite because he has a big personality and plays with a ton of heart. First of all, it's, it's going to be, um, it, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, it's really going to be so impressive when it's finished and how it connects to the Robin Center and the entrance. Uh, everything is really incredible. I mean, they've spared no expense and uh, people are working really hard on making sure it's a, it's a great facility. I think it really is a, a big deal, both with recruits, you know, to, to kind of see that shiny thing uh, coming. I think it shows... Uh, the resources and dedication that, that our administration, athletic director, and, and president uh, put into to basketball here at Richmond. So we're trying to build a great schedule. Uh, we still have some work to do and still going through some options. Uh, the scheduling world is changing because of this, as you might imagine, in terms of guarantee games, which is where schools buy another school uh, and don't return the game, and just in-season events and classics and games that are played at neutral sites. So. All those things are still are still ongoing. I believe we have, I believe we have three games to get still, but we're we're working every day at it. And so far, we think we have a very good schedule. What kind of tweaks might you make to your offense for next season? Yeah, um, you know, I think offensively, you know, I, I think you know we we made a jump this year, both shooting percentage and, and pace of play, points we were scoring. Um, you know, I, I think that was intentional, uh, but I will tell you that. We told everybody during the exit meetings this year, I mean, we're, we're, we want to play faster. You know, this was not the pace that we wanted. It was not the scoring. Um, you know, we, we'd like to get up to the high 60s, 70s as an average and, you know, look a little bit more like uh, maybe Chris over there uh, on the court this year and maybe have a little ways more to go. But we're preparing to, to be here and we're laying out a plan for the summer, a plan for the fall, doing our schedule, finishing our schedule for the, for the winter. Um, so that's the only way I can really think about it. Very similar to Chris, where we have a plan right now, and we, we want our players thinking that they are coming back here yet during the summer. 